Hello, everyone. It's Beth, and I'm here with this fantastic business friend of mine, Michelle Schneider with PPG. And we always love when we're showing properties to be able to see beautifully painted doors. And that's actually something that we uh, talk to people about whenever they're considering selling their homes. Curb appeal, curb appeal, curb appeal, creating a beautiful uh, welcome for your buyers when they come to your home because seriously, first impression is a huge deal. So let's bring in Michelle. Michelle, thank you so much for always pouring pouring value into what we do. I really appreciate you. Well, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to be here to speak to everyone. So I think that this is a very valuable topic. Awesome. You want me to go ahead and pull up some, some photos and you can kind of give us some guidance? Yes, and while you're do, doing that, I'll just mention that let's not neglect that front door. I think that that's the most important aspect that a homeowner or a buyer will see when they're coming into your home. So if it needs a fresh coat of paint, it's really easy. It takes a quart. That's about it. Okay, here's your first example, Michelle. Beautiful okay, colors. so on this example, this shows you that when you have a very basic, plain, clean line, look to a home, you can add color. And so this is the perfect pairing to go with this beautiful taupey color with this traditional stone that we have that's all throughout Kansas City. So adding that pop of color to bring in, welcoming you into that dark space. So it was kind of hard to get that photo so you could see the stone as well. So that's why this photo kind of looks the way that it actually does but it, it really certainly draws your eye to that front porch to welcome you into the home. Wonderful, okay. It, the colors are beautiful, beautiful. Thank okay. You. And then on this one, this you can actually pull in one of the colors from a color line. So let's say that you're working within the entire color strip. You're able to pull in that same color going lighter or darker. There's no right or wrong on that. And look at how beautiful this simplicity of this color is. And this is in our line of 1033 for PPG, just working in the entire color palette within that color card. That's beautiful. And that the siding is a beautiful color of gray. It's okay. beautiful. Yeah. Great. All right, this is... <laughs> So this is an example of what not to do. Okay. So if you're wanting to sell your home, pink is one of those colors that, oh my goodness, it'll either work or it won't work. And in particular in Kansas City, this may not work in our area, certainly for the area of South Carolina, it would work beautifully, but you're trying to bring in and entice a buyer. I personally have this on my own home, but I wouldn't suggest it for anybody that's trying to sell. Wonderful distinction. So what would you, what kind of color would you suggest they put on a front door? So this for this, situation? exactly for this, um, and we'll get into this in another slide that I have here, but I certainly wouldn't go with anything that's got a red tone to it because of this brick, but you can apply any color to white. Everything works beautiful with white. Okay. So you could go to your blues, you could go to even your yellows, um, being very careful with your yellow, for example, something like this. I don't know if you're, can you see this on the screen? Yes. Something like this would not would be okay with that brick, but being careful with the brick pulling in any mustard because you don't want to translate anything um, going towards something that's gonna contrast and not work well with that brick. Okay. Okay, great. So here's our charcoal doors. Very, very uh, powerful and impactful in our environments here in Kansas City. Um, it works so beautifully with this trim color and also with this beautiful taupe that goes so well with the color palette. So don't beautiful. be afraid to go with your charcoals. Charcoals make a beautiful entrance. Wonderful, okay, that's beautiful. So here's, here's another one that, okay, we have our beautiful stone and then we have our deep, dark charcoal uh, blue here. Well, there's not a lot of area to really, we want to kind of make that emphasis and 
um, on the tram color. So we added it into the door. Also, this is an area where if you get a lot of sunlight, you don't wanna burn your hands. Go with something that's white just like this and that draws and makes everything very relevant to the space. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay. Here is a gray, your, your typical gray home. Adding in instead of something that's gonna go, let's say um, a navy, going one step above, which is this, uh, this is our color of the year for, it was our color of the year for 2020, I believe it was, no. 2019. So Chinese porcelain, what a beautiful color um, that pulls in and draws in and you can actually see that color without going to that navy. Can you just even imagine how the navy would have been so dark and it made everything so dark for that entrance. The other thing that I want to point out with this is it's not necessary to go ahead and paint the same color on your side lights. Those side lights are the the light areas between on either side of the door. Let's leave that alone and make that the uh, trim color. So that way we're only putting the emphasis and the color on the front door, which is really important. Absolutely. I think it would really take away from the look of the, the front of this house if the side lights were painted. It would, it color. just would be, it'd be too much. A little bit of color goes a long way and keep that in mind. Okay, great. Oh, we've already seen this one. Oh, we've already seen it. Twice, yes. Okay, yeah. tell me about this house. So this house, it just kind of like goes in the same line in the color tone within the color palette. So let's say that everything is like at level four. When I say something like that, I'm going to show you an example. For example, one, two, three, four, staying in the same area and working your way so it makes that soft line. The other aspect of this home is that that is the same color that's in the ceiling. So it draws in the relevancy from the ceiling of the Old South. And then the, the color, if you can tell, the color's also in the, um, the windows. So pulling and dragging and making emphasis without adding too much color when you have a home with this much going on. So you've got a roof color, you've got your color on your stone, your siding and your trim, and then even the color is in the concrete. So yeah. pulling and dragging in just that one beautiful color to add some emphasis. I see what you're saying about if you added in too, too much color, it could really make this a very overwhelming home yes. um, to look at with all of the different components they have going on. Yeah. different textures yes okay so just add some softness there and that's what the effect is trying to do without overpowering and awesome. keep it in mind <laughs> okay yeah. well this is a, a very, color very um frequent thing that we see in the real estate market as we're taking buyers out to see their home yes so for instance okay so let's talk about our reds this color on this gray, you wouldn't be able to see the color if we went to a dark gray. We had to go light, bright. So that is actually the color. Woo, the screen is not showing it correctly. <laughs> so this is actually a blaze. So you're able to see that color through that glass. So that's something else that you need to, to keep in mind. What is gonna be transpired through that glass? And, the, and that portion of it is going to be the, um, you know, having something with some boldness to see that color. Okay. So does, does having a screen door on a house make any difference in the color that you choose? Yes, it does. Because if you can, if you can tell, all the screen doors have some kind of tinting. So, you know, you could end up selecting a beautiful color, but with that tinting, it made it really plain Jane. So be very uh, cognizant when you're selecting that color because of the tinting in the glass. So like I said, on that color, this is the color, but because of the tinting, do you see how it's really downplayed in the color? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so once again, you would wanna take a good size sample yes. and put it on the door. Put it on the all the different lights with yes. the screen door closed. Okay, Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome, yes. okay. 
lovely home. So for something like this with our greens, greens are such a passionate color right now and a lot of things are going with that. So if you can see that the trims and everything went to this beautiful um, red, you can pull that red into that door that's in, actually, I think that's the color that we selected. But you could also, let's just imagine that we don't even have that red trim and the red corbels on this home. Thinking about what really transpires and looks really good with greens, we could go to a beautiful color that has got some rust to it and it looks so dynamic. So if you can imagine our rust and how beautiful that can look with the green. So let your imagination play out and work what works well with your exterior so that that way you have something that's really drawing your, in, your eye in, but with that bold and intense color. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Just a couple left. Okay, so this is a fun house. There's a lot of color here. Mm -hmm. This is a house that I probably would not add and we did not add a lot of color to because the house already has a lot of color. So what we did was, if you can notice the columns, we added that charcoal color into the, the door entranceway. The reason behind it is the house already has so much saturation and so much color. It's going to look like the fun house. If I added anything like this to it, it's going to look a little obvious that it doesn't belong. Can you show us that color again? Yes. Oh, so we yes. want to go here. Definitely not. The, you would want to go towards something with that charcoal in it. And the reason behind it is because you're drawing and pulling in something that's got a lot of that color. Let me pull this up. So the charcoal. Beautiful. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this is a very unique home and this is where I would definitely want to guide people to get help with selecting these colors. This is a gorgeous home that could go wrong very easily. Very easily. Um, very easily if, um, it, if, if the wrong colors were selected. If you notice too, you've got a, a lot of your landscaping going on. So that's the beauty of the home. You don't want to distract and pull away. That's the other uh, reason why I pulled up the slide because without that landscaping, can you imagine what you could do to that home? But the landscaping is what makes it. And so you don't want to distract from that. Also, you don't want to distract from the colors that were applied on the stucco. So too, too much, a little, a little bit goes a long way. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. A great example with the brick, yes. Yes. So one of my big things is no reds, no orange with, with any red brick because yes. you're fighting. You're completely fighting no matter what you do. You're fighting with that brick. And you want to be able to show and demonstrate a beautiful color that goes well with your brick. So we'll get into that in another segment, but yeah. for now, not selecting reds to go with brick. Okay. Okay. And I noticed that's also the same color that you recommended for the shutters as well and for yes. the side windows. Yes. Now this one, it, it could apply for the side windows, but do you see that the space between the door and the side lights, they were also painted to make that elongated. So that's how that applied and looked beautiful. And it pulls and drags out the entire color segment. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, yeah, that's an interesting point. I wouldn't have noticed that had you not have said it, yes. And it does elongate. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. See if we have any more. No. Uh, me and my husband. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty special. He's, he's a good guy. What can we yeah. say? Well, gosh, this has just been so amazingly helpful. Okay. So we're in the middle of summertime here. So mm -hmm. can you go back over um, selecting colors? based on the heat because once again out showing homes there are some doors we open the screen door and man it will burn your hand 
So what you want to do is you'll want to go, if, if you don't have a lot of white or you don't have, I would probably pull in my trim color, but if you're having a hesitancy to figure out what that trim color is, that's going to be even harder for you. So what I would do is guess what my house color is and possibly let's just say that my house color is down here. I would work in something in this range so that it reduces the heat because okay. you don't want to add another white to the trim because that's going to look off-putting. So you'll want to go up the strip from whatever you think that your house color is because the worst thing that can happen is somebody burning their hand and bringing the very obvious out, which is wow, this heats up really quick. What am I going to do with this? I have small children. You know, you don't want to put anything out there that's going to make somebody second guess purchasing a home. So definitely going light is what I would do. Okay. Yeah. So go, you know, you can go to the light blues. You can go to some of the yellows, but the yellows have a tendency to, um, to fade really, really quickly but staying in the same strip and going all the way up that strip, as long as you're below that one level. So go to that two, like I was talking about. So go down to your two. Okay, wonderful. Michelle, thank you so, so much. I just really appreciate all the value that you bring to our, our clients and our friends and we appreciate you. Oh, I appreciate being here. Thank you so much. You bet. And I think that you have a teaser for our next before we do I everybody do. go. I do. Yeah. yeah, one of our challenges that we have so much here in the Midwest is the facades of, of homes all have um, frequently have stone, different types of stone, a uh, brick. Um, you called it Missouri stone one time when we were when we were speaking about it, Michelle. Yes. And um, those those can be those can be a, a little cumbersome, and it really is a factor about your particular home that you have to consider when you're picking um, a color to paint the outside. So um, right. we will definitely do another video on site and see how these colors um, can either coordinate or, <laughs> in the worst case scenario, not coordinate if you don't have help from someone like Michelle. So. Awesome. That's what's coming up next. All right. We're ready. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Bye.